Hello everyone again. Now we are into the electrophoresis. We are going to show you all the steps of the electrophoresis and we are going to focus on the important parts. So just follow and if you are in doubt as to how we do it, just review this video. We will now carry out the electrophoresis. It is quite clear that this is an important step which can greatly affect the results as they are recorded in different laboratories. So we start by adding the electrophoresis solution. So you might pour on roughly the same amount of liquid each time. And you can see we have made some sort of a mark here. And now I fill it up to this mark. That's it. The next thing to do here now is to check that we have the correct voltage and uh, we should also measure that voltage. So now I add the cables. We have to measure the voltage which is on the platform where the slides are electrophoresed. And to do that we have to know the length of the platform. Then I use a digital voltmeter and then I put the two probes into position on both sides, a few millimeters, as I said, from the edge of the platform. And I lift it up a tiny bit and then I measure. So having done that, I can again switch off the power supply. And then we can do the calculation. This Electrophoresis tank might be a bit longer than other people are used to. So therefore in this case we get a good demonstration of how important it is to adapt the voltage. Not only the voltage but also the, the duration of the electrophoresis to the volt per centimeter. So therefore for this tank under these conditions we should run the electrophoresis for 36 minutes. After incubation the slides, all the slides, including the 12 gel units, are placed on a metal coil plate. Remove the cover slip of the slides containing two gels and transfer them to the electrophoresis tank, already filled with electrophoresis buffer. In the case of the slides containing 12 mini gels, remove them carefully from the 12th unit and quickly immerse them in electrophoresis buffer before transferring them to the tank. Perform the alkaline treatment for 40 minutes and then switch on the power supply. 